Good afternoon, welcome to today's video. I'm just going on a ride with some of the Bagstead Hot Chili development squad. Russo and Rocco, welcome to the videos. Thank you for joining me today on this ride. Thank it's you for joining me today on this ride. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Sounds very <laughs> formal. You guys have come here from South Africa yeah. and you're riding for Backstead Hot Chili, which is a development team, right? Yeah. What is that team all about and uh, how did you get involved? Um, so for me, the team, so the, the goal of the team is to get the, the like South African riders on the map of global cycling. I got involved with with the Cape Relia prologue and then it was just the whole process process of some what bike tests and then eventually riding Cape Relia. Yeah. And so at the start of Cape Relia there is like a how long is the time trial? Uh 14k I think. And yeah. loads of people do it. Yeah. And you got a good time and yeah. that was how you started. Yeah. I think I came second that day. It's pretty there. good. Yeah. <laughs> what about him? How did well did he do? Uh, apparently I did very well. Yeah, no. <laughs> you're, you're on the yeah. team. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what, what does the team do for you, and what has it opened doors in terms of racing? Like, what's it all about? Um, so I started about the same time Rousseau did. Um, also did the prologue. Got in there through a friend that was doing it, and then just rocked up with him and just like supporting it. And it was I did the prologue, and then from there, there I was one of the sixteen for what bike testing, and from there on they selected eight to do uh, ca uh, Cape Rilla, uh, this year and last year I also did the, the double century with the hot chili team as well and I just found out a few days like previous like a week ago that I'll be doing it again but with with the racing men's team so it's it's opened up some doors to experience cycling in a different aspect in South Africa because out here in Europe it's it's much more aggressive, much more technical racing in South Africa is not really like in Europe. So it's, it's they've given me that that opportunity that I need to just expand my cycling knowledge and get the get the experience and training I need. Yeah. So I'll be staying for a month and a half uh, in Belgium, so just being doing some races there and yeah, it's the race Kumis races and just getting the feel of what what the the top top racing is all about and i'm digging it what is the kermes racing like oh kermes racing is for me as you can see i'm not a sprinter i mean i'm not a climber so I'm, it I'd, it's flat flat and i'm there if, if it is a hill or a climb it's not really I'd, I, I can hang in there but flat is just and it's just so fast it's i, I originally come from the track on the velodrome so it's more it's more like that aggressive and fun not not so tactical, but more just explode with power and get in there. How involved is Big Maggie in the team? Have you got to race him yet? Uh, I did, uh, in Cape Relia. Yeah. Uh, did you beat him? Uh, up, up the climbs. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you've got hairy legs, you got to sort that before nah, London Paris. Uh, no, no, definitely. I bought roses yesterday. From the weird shop opposite Giro. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> okay. Dropped him. <laughs> yeah. No hills in Belgium. <laughs> for the ride. Take care, dude. Oh yeah, I get the first bomb. Of course you get the fist bomb. Oh, you know it's that reserved for special people. <laughs> like the Lantern Rouge. What? I've come back to the park for a quick spin. And look who I ran into. Yeah. Chris has got a very special announcement today. Uh, I'm not allowed to reveal exactly what it is yet, but in a second. Chopper. Chopper. Oh, it looks like a right chopper, that one. So, Chrissy, Chrissy Lean Lean? Not yet. You've got a special announcement to make, haven't you? Yeah, I guess so. I guess, like... Ooh. Chopper. <laughs> chopper on a moped. <laughs> Kevin, that's one of the moped guys. Oh, those bastards. Um, I don't really know how to talk about it to be honest because we've, we, I mean, I've you know that question when we've been saying, like, what have you been training for? Yeah, what are you training for, Chris? And you put it off because, well, the reason why I've put off archery is because I wasn't, I haven't been sure for a bit, and then I've kind of just like tried to, I've been testing out, testing the water, so to speak. There's water there, um, and 
basically, I, I mean, this weekend, Jimmy and I are going up north, and we're, Jimmy's not riding, obviously. I am riding. Jimmy can't ride a bike. Jimmy, Jimmy doesn't ride a bike, but um, he broke his bike today. Yeah. Uh, basically, I'm entering, I've entered the British National 24 hour time trial. Ba, ba, ba. And uh, Jimmy's gonna, because you're off to London, Paris. So Jimmy's gonna film about it, and like if you follow on my Instagram and Jimmy's Instagram and and the Ooh, Atticus in, uh, Instagram and all of that stuff, you'll be able to see all what's Love going you. on. Love you too. Who's is Who's he? Hello. Uh, That's that Happy Harry. Yeah. Put your back into it. Put your back into it, Harry. I didn't want to commit to saying it without knowing that I should be able to do it. And I, I know people go, oh, but you've ridden 24 hours before and all that sort of thing. But this is a whole different ball game. It's a massive step up. This is as fast as you can do it. This is as fast as I can go for 24 hours. And it's on a time trial bike. So, and you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. But Jimmy's made me a very nice skin suit. Ooh, I've seen it. It's so nice. So cool. I've worn it. What <laughs> You wear it, you're wearing it now underneath. No, I'm not. You wear it under all your clothes. It's really, it's really, really tasty. <laughs> Sleeping in it. It's nice because he's he's put my name on it. But I start at qu I think it's quarter past one on Saturday afternoon. And it's called the Mersey Roads 24 British National Time Trial 24 Hour Thing. So you can find it on Facebook and it's not on Instagram. You can find it on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Where is your hair gone? Your pants are showing. I know, look. Oh, they always do that. Yeah, do they? Yeah. It's the jersey's too short at the front. Yeah, jersey's too short. I was short. attacked. By... Attacked by a menace with a pair of scissors. Nice hair, mate. <laughs> Why have you got those bars there? Ah, uh, helps me ride. Helps, hey! me ride. helps me ride faster. Super fast. Where the fuck have you been? I've been doing things. Like, I was in the Alps and... I miss you, man. We, we used to go on drives together back when we were friends. We are still friends, but you're just never here. <laughs> you're never here, man. We were still friends. Come back. That there, Chris. It's an arm. That that's is a, an arm. That's a shaved arm. That is an arm, that. Why have you shaved your arm? Ken said so. Trusting Ken, trusting Ken. <laughs> he just, he could get you to do anything. Ken yeah, can... wear ladies' knickers and stand on one leg. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to, he, I'll do that anyway. And to be fair, he's huge, so. <laughs> You would, if Ken told you to do that, you would do it if he stood up next to you and went, oi. I don't know, I think he's a gentle giant. Oh, if you didn't know him. If you didn't know him, you'd be scared of him, wouldn't you? Good luck in the time trial. Oh man, thank you. I'll see you on the other side. I'll see you on the flip side. Have fun in the Paris, please. So, I made it back before the rain. Uh, it absolutely chucked it down. We had planned to do a couple of extra laps with George and Chris, but we all decided to get home before the rain started. Everything is hotting up for London to Paris on Thursday morning. Uh, last day of preparation tomorrow. I'm heading back out with Rocco and Russo from Hot Chili, and we're meeting up with Sven tomorrow morning for a quick tune-up ride. Then, it's 500k to Paris. I need some sleep. Good night, for now.